Okay, Patrick. That was a fantastic class, man. All I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the first rhythm that we did was in the key of C. That's going to be A minor 7, and then D minor 7, and then B minor 7, and then E minor 7. All right? A minor 7 is on the 5th fifth, fifth, uh, fret. All right? You're going to bar the 5th fret. D minor 7th, you're barred on the 5th fret. And then B minor 7th, 7th fret. And then E minor 7th, 7th fret again. All right? We hit a hit a bass line there as your root. Right? Okay. Now, since it's in A minor, right, you can use a pentatonic, right? Because the pentatonics and the minors are interchangeable. Okay, so if a song starts off in an A minor, you're gonna use the A pentatonic for that. Okay, so, or you can go into an A natural minor, A harmonic minor, but what I want you to do is use all of those things, but especially the A diminished. All right, I wanna hear you play the A diminished scale. All right, um, play around with that, with, with that rhythm, okay? Um, what else? Okay, uh, everything was good. I liked the the way you were playing the your tones, your solos, y using that method that you just learned today by using those notes as beats. So you're counting the beats in the measure four four. So you're gonna go one two three four one two three. All right, so use them as beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Continue to do that because you're actually organizing your creativity, right? Everything is kind of happening in a very organized kind of a way, and it's going to help the playing a lot, okay? And it's give you, it'll give you more comfort and more confidence as you play. Okay, so that was in the key of C. Um, the other song that we did, we started to do, was a Stevie Wonder song. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. Okay. So when we did the Stevie Wonder song, we started off E minor, and then we did a B major, right? You could, you could hit the fourth string as your root if you want, or you could play it like that. And then we brought everything down a string to the E minor, full E minor, and then you did an A dominant seven, right? So there should be four things going on there, E minor seven, and then B major, full E minor, and then an A dominant seven. That's it. All right, so that's what you did there with uh, with the intro to the Stevie Wonder song. Um, if you're feeling daring with it, this is how it, it could you can make it sound this way. Okay, play around with that. Okay, and your your uh, key, the key that you would be playing in, is you can play um, uh, the key of G if you wanted. Um, going into this, the E pentatonic scale, the E minor, um, E natural minor, I should say, um, and and play around with those things. Okay. Uh, other other than that, your modes, everything, the scale positionings, everything was really good. Okay, so keep those things in mind and um, I look forward to playing with you on Thursday. We're going to do work more on uh, this, the Stevie Wonder song, because there's a, there's a few other really good songs that we're going to cover. Okay, thank you very much, Patrick. Um, I will see you on Thursday. God bless.